We take it for granted, the comfort of each other's company. Weeks of isolation has made that clear, especially Hi, Sarah. for Patty McGinnis. We are social beings, you know, we're just born to be social and it, it lifts your heart just, just to talk to someone. Well, she and her neighbors couldn't be close. It didn't mean they had to be apart putting the call out for people on her Nobleville Street to get outside Hi guys. and see each other. It just came to me that maybe I could just make up a little invitation and walk it around the neighborhood. Socially distanced, of course. It's like I've seen the people from afar, but to actually get a talk to them. And the weather was perfect <laughs> as neighbors on 9th Street came. <laughs> and just talked. Did you see the hot tub in the middle of the river? No. Oh, watching it. Therapy at arm's length. And it's amazing how many people you meet when you set out in the evening. And we've really enjoyed that. And in Plainfield, a show of thanks. With a small neighborhood parade for their first responders. These guys are the ones that are walking into the homes when the people are sick. These are the ones that are going to all the emergencies in our community was thank them clapping and just kind of a great thank you for our especially what the country is going through right now this crisis has done much to separate but can also bring us together and you know what i love about seeing all that video people outside enjoying the sunshine and staying six feet apart social distancing is so important it's going to save your life and someone else's as well